Hello, it's just Party, and today I'm recording another budget Ice Barrier versus, and this time it's versus Blue Eyes White Dragon. Without further ado, let's get into the game. So we're going to start by normal summoning an Ice Barrier monster, triggering the Ice Barrier Miko so that we can then go and activate the Calm After the Ice Barrier Storm to be able to get into the copy of the Revealer of the Ice Barrier, as it's now renamed to. We're then going to go into Coral and Enemy getting a Frost Spirit, so we can then go into the Hulk Firebox. As we already have the level 2 on field, we can now go into Dragite. We're going to use the Water Arch to Thought Seize them, but the problem is they don't have anything in hand that was really worth Thought Seizing, which is, well, a very bad weakness of the deck. If there's nothing to hand loop them from, then there's not really any purpose to doing it. They're then going to be able to get two searches in the end phase. So from here, I'm going to have to try outing their board before they're able to get Chaos Max onto the field. I'm going to start making things onto my side of the field at this point. And then they're going to go into Moonlight Dragon. I'm going to still be able to make a lot of stuff here. Something that I realized later is that it was actually possible for me to have gone into the giant Trishula, but I'm not sure if that would have actually helped in that scenario. It would be able to allow me to deal damage. My thought process here was that I have the Fox, which would have prevented them from actually attacking, but it the uh, continuous spell only stops activated effects of monsters from the extra deck, so yeah, they just have game from here. Back with game two, and this hand is, well, looking a little bit more like something we're going to be able to do something with. They're going to be able to go first because Blue Eyes doesn't do much on the play, so I opted to go second instead. So they're going to end on Halk and a Blue Eye, or Spirit of the Blue Eyes as well as the Deep Eyes thing. They're going to then immediately put tag out into Azure of Spirit Eyes. I'm going to go for one for one, getting the Fish Warg. Then going to... Uh, Mirror Master at hand using the Medallion. Special Summon the Miko go into a Gigabyte, looping out the copy of Blue Eyes Alternative. Going to then trish away the entire field except for the Halka Fibrax. Set to attack over the Halka Fibrax and then pass. And because I have the Spiritual Art, I'm going to rip the Chaos Space from their hand, so now they're going to have to just pitch away their copy of the Blue Eyes Chaos Max with trade in. Then going to use the field spell, which I don't know what that does. Apparently it brings out the alternative, Blue Eyes alternative. It's going to let me summon Trishula to my side of the field and negate their entire field. They're going to make Link Rebo and pass. And they are currently under, there can only be one, and my deck really doesn't care. So I'm going to then go into the Ice Barrier token, go into Coral and Enemy, bring back the Ice Barrier monster, make the level 2, go into Halk, go into level 2, pass. So at this point all I have to do is be able to clear a or a, the one card I know they have in their hand which is the I can't remember what the name is, I just know that if I destroy a blue eyes monster it negates my field but and I also was able to stop them from attacking using the level 2 Iceberry monster, and when after to destroy their monster, I negate it with Totally Awesome, which I just made, and then I just have the game. Back with game three, and our hand's looking pretty good, and they're also looking pretty good. I'm going to start off with going the, uh, with the Medallion to the Ice Barrier, going into the Ice Barrier Miko, going into the Gigabyte, looping for one, reasoning, they call it right, going to go into the Coral Enemy, but here's where I did something really stupid. I didn't activate Coral and Enemy's effect, so I can't make Dragite. This play was terrible. And I basically don't have a field after that, because without uh, the negation of Dragite and its attack point value, I'm kind of messed over from here. I wasn't able to negate anything, and they just go into something. And this is the board they end on. One Dragite would have been way better than that. Then I could, I, they wouldn't have been able to end on that if they, with the hand they had, if I had the Dragite. But at this point, they're just going to help a Fibrax going into Link Reva. I feel pretty dead here. 
I have to draw something good. They're going to be able to search two cards. At this point, I draw. That's actually a pretty good card. Going to go into the Deep Sea Diva, going into Token, go into Coral and Enemy, bring back the copy of the Ice Barrier, activate its effect to uh, summon to field, go into Dragite a bit late, out there field, except for the blue eyes. And then they have the Return of the Dragon Lords in Graveyard, but at this point they're going to activate Mausoleum of White, go into Alternative, pop the Dragite, go into the Galaxy Eyes monster for some reason. They have it from here, just letting them blank it out. And the Polymerization go into the Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon, and that's game. Just remember, remember to use Coral Anemone to summon the level 2 to be able to make Dragite off of the Locust.